I know a little bit about what it's like to fail. Well, actually, I know a lot about what it's like to fail. Uh, I mean, uh, having an advanced degree in that subject in the University of Life. Well, in particular, uh, um, I know what it's like to fail in business. I've done it several times. Hopefully, keep thinking that I'll, I'll get better at it and uh, one day get it right. And I may, yeah, still, but time seems to be running out. Well, in particular, that's not, I'm not here to, to, uh, to talk about my own experience. I'm here to talk about uh, the uh, larger experience of failure in uh, life in terms of business. And it's a topic that's a well-worn topic, the idea of... And then this isn't about the lessons of failure. That's not what I'm going to talk about, how a failure can, uh, can teach us of things. That's not what I'm after here. I'm talking about the, the, the visceral feeling during the event, during the experience, during the moment that failure is occurring. And failure is a, often a, a, a slow motion uh, train crash. Hey, speaking of a train crash, well, hopefully it'll crash. <laughs> what I mean is that failure often unfolds in a, in a slow motion manner and uh, in, our, in life. So we can feel it over a course of time, sometimes a very long time. And then after the event itself has passed, it continues to linger in many forms. So let me continue with my story. Um, <clears throat> I uh, invested five years of my life, plus uh, my life savings, in a one particular business, only to watch the uh, economic collapse of uh, 2007. Uh, how do, I don't want to say rob it away. Take the uh, pull the uh, rug out from under my feet. That's probably a better word for it. And uh, through some folly of my own, some decisions to uh, to not except what was happening, I uh, made the problems, I compounded it, made it worse. And I remember that period of time, that particular 2007, 2000, late 2007, through most of 2008, as one of the uh, darkest periods of my life, not in terms of, uh, of darkness, in terms of uh, bad things happening, but darkness in terms of not being able to find a way out, and not being able, uncertainty about the future. It was a scary time. So, uh, why am I talking about this? Well, again, I'm not talking about this I'm, in order to illustrate an event in my own life. I'm using that event to illustrate something bigger. That's what I'm, I'm trying to do, and I'm taking a long time leading up to it, but here it goes. I just walked past the business. You know, and anybody that's been in business and has had the experience of, of succeeding and failing, and I've had both a little bit of the first and a lot of the former, a lot of the latter, if you had the experience of failure, you can sometimes recognize it when it's happening around you. And you can see you can see others who may be making mistakes that you made and uh, you can understand a little bit about what those what what's happening and it gives you a little bit of insight in a way I guess that's one of the things about uh, cumulative wisdom in a way over time hey my lunch is getting all screwed up anyway I just walked past a uh, business that I've been, had my eye on for a while now and I'm not going to get into any particulars let me just t maybe take my word for it this particular business and I'm I'm sure that others have seen this before they start, start a business in an unlikely market and in, and a uh, unpromising location. Well, when you do that, you're you're opening yourself up for collapse and failure. And uh, and sometimes we do that. We do, we we in business we don't we don't want to take an uncertain gamble, and so we wind up. Uh, uh, not risking, not, not risking enough, and in the end failing as a result by by not choosing a more favorable location, by not accepting a, a a location where the rent may be more, but the foot traffic may be greater, or by not advertising appropriately to get the to spend the money to get the money to come in, all those sorts of things. Well, anyway, all of this is happening with this one business, and um, I'm uh, pretty sure that the end is near. And I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. But uh, as I walked past, I looked in the door and I saw the business owner uh, standing there. And he was looking out out of the street from his empty shop and uh, past the uh, wares that he had on display out on the street that uh, seemed to never change. It always seems to be the same things. And he had that look in his eye that I know so well. <laughs> Because I'd seen it in my own eyes so many times, looking in and waking up in about uh, November 2007. Wake up early in the morning, I had to get to work to try to rustle up some dough, look in that mirror and have that same look. And I saw that look in his eyes and I knew, I knew what was going on in his mind. The uncertainty, the doubt, 
the hope that maybe this day, this week, this month, things are going to turn around, that the customers are going to start to come back, or come period, and that things are going to have a, a, rose, a rosy uh, horizon, a rosy dawn on the horizon. And, uh, I hope that that horizon is there for him. And this comes to the point I want to make. This, 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 anticipate, this feeling is something that uh, we can all know. And I hope, I hope that most people never do know it because it's, it's one of the most miserable experiences I've ever known. Although in hindsight, you know, get, I'll, now I'll get back to that old thing about uh, having learned a lesson from Hey, there goes my friend Eric. <laughs> I just saw him drive by. Um, I, uh, the experience of failure, the, the, the experience of, of, of impending failure, the experience of feeling yourself having made a mistake and not knowing an easy way out, the experience of, of falling over a cliff and not having any way to, to anticipate a soft landing. It's going to be a hard landing and it's going to hurt. And uh, what do you do from there? It's the scariest, one of the scariest things I've ever known. I hope to never know it again. I appreciate the uh, good fortune that I have now to have a uh, safe, secure income for my family. And uh, I, I, I'm certainly, as, as I guess this explains in a way why as we get older we tend to risk less. I don't want to have that experience again. Well, I think I've, uh, I've spent the image, the idea that I had now, that image as I, wa as I saw that man, and he's probably standing there still, looking out of his window, looking out that door wondering what the future months will hold ahead for him. I imagine that his shop will uh, eventually become vacant as was the shop before it and two shops before it. That particular location is a terrible location for business. Over the eight years I've been in this community, I've seen uh, at least three businesses come and go from that very spot and I'm afraid I'm about to see a fourth. I hope that that man can get through this intact. In I hope that he can, uh, he can proceed on from there. It's a harder thing to do in Japan than it is elsewhere. Failure in Japan, you don't get, Japan is not a country of second chances. You get one chance in most cases. And if you don't make it, uh, uh, heaven help you. And I, I hope heaven helps him. That's it for now, folks. Have a great day. See you later.